What's going on YouTube? We're back with another video here today and it's gonna be a quick one. I just wanna talk about a quick concept that some of you may not know you're able to do within Photoshop that can really help you export some really clean images for Instagram or YouTube thumbnail that you might be creating. I guarantee you this process will really help you out if you don't know about it already. And to prove to you that it's an easy concept to learn, we're gonna throw two minutes on the screen and we're gonna to try to explain it in under that time. So I ended up using two images to help explain this concept to you guys, one of them being an image that I took for the most recent video that I put up on the YouTube channel being the what's in my bag for 2022. I'll have that video linked above so you'll be able to check that out. But for the thumbnail, I would know I wanted to have all of the gear laid out on this nice clean background, but unfortunately I didn't have anything that was relatively clean to take the photo up against. But I knew in taking the photo that I would be able to use this technique to help me achieve that clean background. So I set up all the gear on the floor on these nice white tiles. They're all pretty similar for the most part, but unfortunately we do have this dog bed here on the right. So what we're gonna do is we're going to make sure that our photo is a rasterized layer. And in order to do so, if it's currently a smart object, just right click the layer and then just hit rasterize layer. After that, we're gonna hit L on our keyboard for the lasso tool. You can always click it at the top left as well. And we're going to click and drag around the object that we're trying to get rid of. For this first part, we're going to try to get rid of the bed first. So I'm gonna click around that entire bed, make sure it's selected. Make sure to be very precise with what you're selecting. If you accidentally have something in there, Photoshop's going to actually take that little section into account and can get really, really wonky. Once we have our selection, just right click on it, hit fill, and then make sure content aware is checked off under contents, and then hit okay. Photoshop's going to try its best and interpret that selection and pretty much try to get rid of it. Sometimes it doesn't come out that great as you could see, but this is where we're going to help Photoshop get to the end result that we want. So I'm gonna come back in again, try to get rid of these wires here and specifically select that area now. Once again, right clicking, going to fill and then just hitting okay. And just like that, we have a more clean image at the top right. And I essentially went through this entire process in getting rid of all of the lines in between each tile. By the end of it, this is the end result that I got. As you can see, all of the lines are gone. It kind of looks like one giant white tile. All of the objects are still on the front. I had to use a separate technique to help clean up certain areas that Content Aware Fill just couldn't really do quite well. So let's dive into that now. So here's an image that I took the other day. I think the image is pretty cool. Let's say I want to post this on Instagram. However, I have some of these telephone wires kind of going through the image. You can definitely see the one in the sky. And then there's one down here within the trees as well that I want to get rid of. So first thing that I'll do is actually edit the photo to my liking. So this is the edit that I put on it. And now I want to get rid of those telephone wires. So first things first is making sure that the layer is is a rasterize layer. So we're gonna right click it, hit rasterize. Once again, we're gonna hit L on our keyboard for the lasso tool. We're gonna select around the area that we're trying to get rid of. Right click, fill, content aware fill, hit okay. And just like that, the telephone wire in the sky is gone. But now what about this bottom part here? If we were to try to do this bottom part, it's gonna be very tough for Photoshop to understand what we want it to do. It's gonna spit out something that's actually relatively usable, but sometimes it doesn't really work. So here's a different technique that you can use. We're going to go to the clone stamp tool and that's gonna be S on your keyboard. Essentially with the clone stamp, we're just going to be cloning certain parts of the image onto other areas of the image. And so in order to do it, we have to first set where we want Photoshop to be pulling the information from. So I'm gonna hold Alt on my keyboard and we're gonna select an area. Notice how there's a certain circle that'll pop up. That's how you know that you're selecting a specific area in order to create the clone from. So we're holding Alt and we're just gonna click anywhere that we deem to be the best area to start. Normally I have my brush at 0% hardness. And from there, we're able to actually just click and drag like a normal brush. And we're essentially cloning where we selected the same parts of that image and going over whatever 
thing we're trying to get rid of. So in this case, we're trying to get rid of the telephone wire. And as you can see, it's actually doing a pretty good job because trees are so organic. Anything that we do to it pretty much looks real to us. So with this image, it's pretty easy in order to do that. So after going through and clone stamping all of the bottom parts of the wire, we then ended up with this here. So you would never know that there was any telephone wires there. As you can tell, it's a very easy concept to really understand. You have content aware fill, which allows you to select certain parts of the image and Photoshop's going to try its best to interpret that selection and get rid of whatever is in that area. And then you have the clone stamp tool, which essentially clones certain parts within the image and allows you to essentially hide some of those blemishes within your project. So for me, what I like to do is I first use content aware fill, try to get out the big messes of the image as possible. Most of the time, this is all that I'll actually have to do, but in those more complicated images or very small, very detailed areas, it can be a bit tricky. So that's when I'll actually go in with the clone stamp tool and I'll try to clean it up from there. There's a ton of other things that you can do to fix an image, but those are like the two main ones that I feel like 99% of the time you can use and you'll find success with it. And that's pretty much it. I wonder if I actually hit the two minute mark. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As you can tell, it's a very simple concept that you can understand and learn pretty quickly just by hopping into Photoshop right now and just taking some time, pull a random image and try to experiment with it and see what you get. Hope you guys enjoyed. It's been myself, Steven, AK Scream. If you liked the video, make sure to leave a like and uh, maybe comment down below if you found this helpful. Love you. Appreciate you. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Bye.